There's a big range of uh, artworks and artists on the Spark 2024. In the background, we can see uh, Franz West. Uh, what could you tell us about this range? Well, I mean, we have been trying to uh, focus on an you know, art fair or exhibition model that kind of like uh, goes with international, you know, fairs in that in that uh, context. For example, look at uh, Freeze Art Fair. Freeze Art Fair has a section for contemporary artists and a section for masters. So like big names, mostly not alive anymore. And uh, of course, Vienna does not have in this case two halls for for um, uh, exhibitions or fairs. But we said, okay, we want to follow that international concept that most fairs have or are having, like also Art Basel and <clears throat> mix uh, uh, a range of like really young artists, young galleries, known artists, known galleries, and uh, not necessarily in that combination, but also having, uh, you know, super known galleries with super young gallery, uh, artists, like uh, Rosemarie Schwarzwälder, one of the most important one in Vienna has Constanze Stoiber, a very young artist, like one of the youngest artists on the fair. So that is also something that we really wanted to mix throughout the whole fairground. So having uh, also, of course, a master's, we cannot say master's section, but also uh, art galleries or dealers that, that represent very, I mean, very known uh, Austrian artists and having that kind of dialogue because the, 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 the theme of the fair is the sit-in dialogue and that should also you know, bring Austrian artists into a dialogue, be older, be known, be young. Unfortunately, of course, not everyone alive, but still to, to showcase the art historical importance of Vienna, of what artists have done or have been doing. And um, that also all, always reflects the contemporary um, aspects of how art goes, sells, how artists live. And I mean, unfortunately, I have to say that, that we have uh, Günther Bruce, one of the, the major actionist uh, artists here also at the fair, who unfortunately died a few weeks ago, so that's of course was not calculated, but uh, the same goes for Carl Andre, one of the pioneers of uh, American land art that is also represented at Conrad Fischer Gallery from Düsseldorf here, who also passed away just a few weeks ago. So, I mean, this is like, uh, I think, a sign of uh, contemporary uh, history that, you know, as you work, life goes on and life changes. So even like in every process of doing something, there are changes or changes have to be made or not necessarily, but they happen, you know, so it's, it's like a, a process. And I think this process uh, is shown here at the fair in terms of like having a lot of younger galleries, younger artists, also a lot of artists present at the fair. Uh, many artists are here, like be it from Greece or Brazil or from Portugal. So that I think is also like that makes this process or liveliness of, of like cohabitation in this fair that we kind of conceived of as a city map, as a city plan, as a city itself, and uh, having also to deal with different issues. Uh, like, you know, we have one sculpture work by Marko Markovic, a Croatian artist living in Vienna, who grew up in Austria during the time of the, the, the you know, Yugoslav wars in the 90s, and who has this um, uh, work called Iron Waterfall, but of course it reminds of, of the Iron Curtain and the time past then when he grew up. But then we have, for example, Carlos Nunes, a Brazilian artist who is represented uh, with uh, Raquel Arnaud Gallery, and he deals with the you know, situation in Brazil under Bolsonaro and with all those repressions that, that happened. But he, for example, has uh, works that are kites going up. So everyone has their different kind of feel of how history goes. The Iron Waterfall comes down, the kites go up. So how to deal with the political situation in your country, and by the way, artistically or visually work with it and see how you can not escape but still kind of try to find a way out maybe but still artistically at least.